It's the actual factuals, you are now tuned in, baby, let's get it. Episode 5, I'm your other co-host, they call me Josh Moody, they call me Schmood, the handsome one, the dancing one, the prancing one, and the chancing one. You gotta say it twice, it's always better when you say it twice. Like y'all said, this is episode 5, and the name of this episode is Stay In Your Lane. Stay In Your Slain, Stay In Your Slain. Shout out to my man, LeVar Ball. But before we get into what we got going for you guys today... Bro, anything good news? I know you just got back in town not too long ago. I told you it's one of the hardest working men I know. Yeah, man. I went to Miami just to handle some business. Um, you know, just working on a few the gimmick, things, man. The gimmick. I don't care. He, he, you know what I'm saying? I Every don't time. know what he means by gimmick. The gimmick. Listen, like, he I'm think, a hard working businessman. He's a gimmick. He's just a gimmick. Y'all don't even know. Like, call it what you want, I'm going to call it. I'm going to keep jacking that. I'm going to keep jacking that. I promise you. Can you tell the people what is your definition of a gimmick? I mean, I think. Ever know that shit. Wow. Ever know that shit. You serious, bro? I have a little desk. You're looking at him. You're looking at the biggest gimmick I've ever met him. What's wrong with this guy? Y'all know it, guys. If you follow him, if you know the man, if you know really Evan, and to see where the man is going, you know he's a gimmick. Hard working brother. That's, that's that's a fact. I didn't I didn't de- I never No, I know that. I never denied that's that. That's my definition of me. I, I never denied me. that. Okay? But this man's a gimmick. Dang, okay. I went to school for marketing and management. I'm just a networking guy. I'll show you how to move in a room full of vultures. He is that guy. <laughs> I'll show you how to move in a room full of vultures. Guys, if that's going over your head. <laughs> so I'm going to say it one more time for you guys. Stop, man. I'm going to say it one more time for you guys. What does what? Just one more time for you guys. I'll show you how to move in a room full of vultures. And I quote Jay-Z. If, y'all, if that's going over your head, fellas, to, as little as I can make it for you. Ladies too, and there's ladies. Ladies, if you're listening, it's the same thing, but this is my guy, my jacket. That's why this is gonna work, whether you like it or not. It's the actual factuals, episode five. Stay in your lane, and God damn it, we whipping it right now in ours. So we're gonna, we're gonna jump right into it, because I'm honestly jacking it OD. Mm-hmm. I respect it. We've, we've constantly already talked about this man on this show already. He's an entrepreneur, he's a father. A black father at that. A businessman. A businessman. Somebody whose love and and compassion for his people. You know what I'm trying to say? For his for his people, his intermediate people, it's crazy to me. I respect it. I have a father in my life who I know who sacrificed everything for me. Granted, Lavar is clearly doing it his way, the big baller way, the triple B way, however you want a jacket. And People don't like it. And I agree. Because they want you to conform to society. You know why? Right, right. He's not, right, right. That, so he's he's not fit. He's doing it. something that's never been done, guys. Sure. So with that, it comes hate. When you're a trailblazer, you know what I mean? When you're that black sheep, you know what I mean? You're, a problem. you're, okay. you're the, you know what I'm trying to say? So, and guys, it's so relatable to what's going on right now in this world today, guys. If you're paying attention, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about if you're paying attention, guys, because it's happening right now. But that's just on a smaller scale, nowhere near as big as the bigger picture of what's going on in the world. But let's put that in perspective right there. But however, LeVar's in in, in the business right now where he's technically not supposed to do what he's doing. That man was asking for co-branding, bro. Co-branding. Mm-hmm. He wanted the rights. He wanted ownership, right? This is what, this is what That's we, what we should want. You and, and, and I mean, if you were part of something, you create a name, a brand, something like that. If you gonna have somebody come in with a bigger, a bigger brand and a bigger name, and if you just think it's okay for them to just take what you worked hard for and you put all your effort into, and they benefit from it, I mean that that just don't make sense. So you, you, like I said, you gotta respect the bar. I mean, you look at these guys, these young guys. You know, they get drafted first, second round. They get youngest, these, bro. These youngest. contracts, these Nike contracts, these Jordan contracts. Yeah, they'll send you, they'll send you boxes, trucks, loads of Jordans, right? We're going to use Jordan for an example. I bet you they won't send you that money, though. Think about it. They say each athlete just signed a Jordan to Nike. 
30, 40 sneakers. I mean, you get some bread now, but it's just you like some bread. Right, right. Same. You don't. You ain't gonna wear the all money, the sneakers. The money you, the money that they make actually off of the athlete is is no way. Yeah, like they give you some you're money. About I mean, they cost what? to a dollar, a couple, a couple of dollars, if that. Maybe even a couple of cents to produce a pair of Jordans. That's a fact. Sneakers, you know what I'm saying? Any so them sending pretty. you those Flats. forty boxes of Jordans that they're selling for two fifty probably cost them twenty dollars to make. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So preach. Why don't they send you that twenty to fifty dollars the retail price for all those forty sneakers that they that they giving you? Why don't they give you the, the price oh. of that plus the check you supposed to and, get on the endorsement? And you rocking it, brand you 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 embracing it for them, and you know what I mean. Actually, it's actually a drink of truth. This is a lot of sneakers we we grew up trying to wear, absolutely trying to imitate the same people people wearing, which is dope. But what Lavar was asking for, guys, was like the right to keep my name. Like I want my name. This is mine. I mean, you work hard for it. I, I this is mine. I want mine. Like you're not gonna, you know what I'm saying? No. I mean, that happens. I want not, to, not, to mine. Jump off, not to jump off topic, but that happens in the music industry a lot. A lot oh, of people facts. aren't aware of you, you know what I'm saying? You sign to this major label. You sign your rights away. Facts. And people don't even realize, you know, I was having a conversation with Ryan and he was telling me like how deep it is. Like, say you're a music artist. I can write a song for you, but because you signed to Sony, Sony can take that song and give it to a bigger artist. Cause you don't have the rights to that music. Right. Like that's crazy. Right. That's not what happened, but they can no. do that if they want to. It and it does, does happen. happen. It does. You know what I'm saying? It like, does. Absolutely. You have someone write a song for you. Right. And me and you might be signed to the same one. We don't even know each other. Because right. you're up and coming, I'm already there. That's a fact. And they just gonna literally Oh, I like that. Yeah, me that. Right. He he can make that could be a number one well, they, song because it's coming from no Chris Brown. Like but what? It's a cycle, right? Because then it passes along. Because then they're like, no, nah, when you're in that position, the same thing's gonna happen. But it's just not right. I, I personally agree with it. So that's how know, it happens. I definitely respect people that stay independent. Or if you don't stay independent, you just make sure that you you see the the verbiage in the contract and you fight for what's yours. Put the put the uh the, the selfie cam on. Again. But what makes it even crazier is that now he's even creating a league now. For youngins, it's called the Junior Basketball Association, which the league would allow players straight out of high school that do not want to join college programs to earn up to ten thousand dollars a month while preparing to make the NBA. I think it's great. Now, boy, now when I see now when it dropped on IG, I seen the people hating. You know, he's like starting these kids to get them to win the brand. Of course, right? Of course, is what they. But it's genius. He's taking power away from the NCAA. He is. And he's, giving, and he's giving athletes that, that honestly that, like, they work hard, hard every day, day in, day out. It's school, practice, film, weight, school, practice, their lives. film, weight. Right. And he's putting them in a position to become right. young entrepreneurs Ooh, straight crazy, out of high school. Bro. Literally, he's literally teaching them business. He's teaching them business. It's crazy. And he's paying them at the same time. It's crazy. I mean, I think it's genius. Absolutely, it's absolutely genius. The lowest ranked player would make $3,000 a month, bro. The best player would make $10,000. Guys, guys, guys. The stipends we used to get at school was what? Was what, Ev? Man, I don't even know. I didn't even get stipends. I'm not even going to front. I think it was like... I was on full styling. I think it was like $3,700 a semester. You Boy. divide that by six months. Well, what, four months? The semester's what? August, September, October, November, December. Five months. Boy, at Rody, bro. At Rody. Money was limited, OD limited, OD limited, OD limited. I was just, I was blessed enough with parents who worked, you know what I mean, who was able to support me throughout college. Mom, pop, you already know what it is, love you, whatever, whatever. However, I know the struggle, boy. How many times have I had my parents up a week because we was out there struggling, bro? That's a fact. That's struggling, a fact. like, people don't even say, you think you want a Stiley, it's all sweet. It's all good. You you eating good. You think you want to eat cafeteria food all day, every day? Sometimes you have to have the that. And they putting laxatives it. all in that. So I mean, as soon as you eat it, you, you know what I mean? You on the sprooper. Like who trying to be on the sprooper all the time? Like, it was crazy. And my guys, if you know the y'all know, y'all know the butterfield wings used to be hitting. I already know, but you know what I'm saying? That, but nonetheless, people don't understand the grind. The struggle. And granted, I went to the University of Rhode Island. No, we didn't have the uh, crazy jersey sales and nothing like that. But think about the, the giant, 
And I'm just going to use Johnny Manziel as an example because I know he put Texas A&M on the map. On the Single-handedly. Map. Single-handedly put him on the map. Granted, he's already rich. I know his father owns, like, a, I believe it's all. I'm not, I don't know. I know he, it's, it's pretty he, big. He's, he's good. Millionaire type, type, type money already, okay? And, but the amount, that stadium is called the house that Johnny built now. You know what I'm trying to say? So, like, he never will see a dime. <laughs> he won't even see a penny. A penny. Of those jersey sales, those ticket sales, nothing, nothing, nothing. We would never see that. I can go, I can go on and on, down the line. Cam Newton, that one year that he did. You know what I'm trying to say? His jersey sales, and he never would see a penny of that. And y'all was mad at him for taking his pops possibly he taking money in the joint. These were kids who was coming from nothing. Most times these kids yeah, come from to nothing. Yeah, cut you off, so I just pulled it up. Johnny Football is of Syrian descent. His dad got that oil money, man. Yeah, oil, oil. I thought I knew it. Okay, pretty sure. Texas, of course, it's Texas. It's oil money. However, and so Lavar is clearly doing something, bro. That they don't they don't want to see him done. And and as much as you guys, like my friend here, can hate on Lonzo, and and I know where a lot of the hate comes from. His pops, because his pops is is outlandish with a lot of his claims, and he could say some things that could really rub you the wrong way. But I think. I hope you guys can understand that you need to view things from other people's perspective, not just from yours. Yeah. He's he's saying it from a place of, I know my boys. I seen the work these boys put in. I know what I put my I put into my boys. Yeah. This is what he's literally saying. And I'm not gonna let somebody I don't care can. what you say. You guys just came. You guys are just seeing this. He don't he don't just cause you're a big name, he's not gonna just let you jump and say, oh, cause you're Nike. This, you're gonna dictate it. No, like you said, he, no, he's he knows his it. worth. He when, when you're educated, you're really like, I, I feel like you're America's worst nightmare. They just, they they pose you as a threat because you're standing up for what you built, what you worked hard for, and what you know is right. So, you know, they see that, like, oh, this guy trying to start his own league. He's too vocal. I, I seen some on ESPN or something a long time ago, not even a long time ago, maybe like a month. And it has something to do with the Lakers and like LeVar being so vocal. I think they actually they said created something. A rule. Of, oh, they created a rule. Yeah, yeah like you know. What well, I mean? the Lakers, the Lakers created a rule where like um, family members are not allowed to be interviewed by media anymore. Cause mm -hmm. like he used to, he was getting interviews. But you, I think he's really getting interviews. He's getting more interviews than players are. Yeah, but he was getting those interviews not because of. It's because of who he is. Not because of Lonzo. It was because he's LeVar Ball. Right. He was more it's vocal. It's because of who he is. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? So right. I understand. Why, why, who's to say that he can't get an interview? Like, that's, right. that's crazy. This is where we live in, man. I, you know, but, you know, but, but as, and, I, and you got to think, Magic Johnson's the president now. So, like, this is him making this rules. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's because true too. Yeah. he's, so, and honestly, I think Magic is doing that strictly from a, from a, like, yo, like, standpoint. pops. Not even, like, yo, pops, like, we got this, like, mm -hmm. one yourself. This is the pros type. It's not, this is nothing, this is, I think Magic is definitely doing it, not from a, that's nothing to do with race. I think this mm -hmm. is just like, yo, fam, like, I'm Magic Johnson, bro. He's like, yo, fam, I'm, I'm LeVar Ball. Ball. <laughs> <laughs> he's telling, he's telling yo, Magic, Ball, stay in your lane, jacket, bro. None of that, bro, LeVar ain't jacket, none of that, bro. LeVar, yo, but that, con that utmost confidence in himself is like, why is, is why that brand is where it's, it's, it's at right now. That's why that brand is where it's going. Hundred. So you tell so guys, as much as you want to hate that he's doing this, can we please get the selfie camera back on, good brother? Good brother, can we please get the selfie camera back on, good brother? I was really telling my fault. My I'm sorry. It's all. I'm sorry. It's all good. It's all good. So you trying to tell me, guys, youngins, for my youngins who are playing high school basketball right now. For those who are out there grinding at these combines, trying to get it, trying to get your star ratings up. Those who don't, who are not even ranked yet, and y'all are, are working your way hard, and they don't even know about you yet, but you're on the on the way coming, because there's always a lot of y'all out there. I'm a late bloomer like that too, my guys. I'm saying this to say this. You're telling me. If you had the yeah, opportunity, you didn't got to ask me the question because I already my answer If yes. you had my view, the viewers, guys, if you had this opportunity. To wear those nasty big baller brand sneakers, as nasty as they are, the new ones is not that bad. They're actually an improvement from the What's last that, the one. The ZO2s? The ZO2s is an improvement from the last one. Lamelo's is trying. I'm not jacking them yet. I love Lamelo, a young basketball player. He could really be a stud. Okay. However, all I'm saying is, if you tell me, I can possibly make three racks a month 
a month. Playing, minimum, minimum. playing in your league minimum. until I'm ready for the league. I'm with it. Rather than go to college and eat oodles and noodles. And, and, and granted, mm -hmm. granted, don't get me wrong. College is a great experience, guys. I wouldn't change mine for the world. For the world, I met some of the, my, my family that I would never, ever, ever lose in touch with. Like, like that 100%. shit is like forever. Like, I agree. So, college. you know, either or, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing experience. But if you're telling me, for, especially for those who who are not as blessed as others, who have to really, their whole family is banking on them, providing for them, yeah. off of that basketball or whatever sport that means. Granted, granted, football, if, if they created something like that, that would be crazy. And you know, pe people like the copycat, bro. 100%. People like the copycat. Like, people like the copycat. Everybody like, was trying to try. I'm to telling you, them. I don't know why Diddy won't just go do that, honestly. Honestly, I'm telling you, if people really might. I don't know what's what's the legal action behind all of this. I don't even know if the NCAA can stop this. You know what I mean? I don't know. I'm sure they're gonna try to find some type of way to block this. I don't see how. It's a professional league. I but you can't stop. No. You play professional basketball. You're, you're pro ball. You you you, you, you could be drafted the next year. It's crazy, bro. I think it's genius, guys. If, if y'all hating, y'all just are not like y'all just are stuck, like. Mm -hmm. And your ways, like get over it, bro. You like, know this world is full of haters. I'm they're telling gonna find, you, they're gonna have something to complain about with this league. Like, boy, like it, it won't be like it's gonna have a few kinks. I'm in the sure, beginning, you know what I'm saying. But who like, ain't gonna watch it? I know if I'm able to watch, I'm gonna watch that. But you just gotta, you you gotta really think. Like, think about all the kids that's playing AAU basketball. These kids is like 15, 16 years old with forty thousand to hundred thousand yep. followers on social media. So you gotta think like all the all the traffic that they're gonna generate to this league. Talk about it's it. crazy. They they Talk they might. It. The NCAA is really gonna get if, like if this goes through, the NCAA is in trouble. And no one, and no one will go a lot of money. Watch them make a deal with like Facebook or something where you can watch the watch the game Stream live on Facebook, right yeah. on Facebook or something. You already got a show on the joint. Why not? You already got a show on the joint. Yo, it is genius, guys. Yes. It's absolutely it is. genius. Absolutely genius. Stay in your lane, big baller. And my son is in his lane right now, boy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He got put the same investors that, that invested in the in highway. Same brand before Lonzo got drafted. You know what I'm saying? Lonzo signed that thirty-three million dollar contract. Speaking into existence, that's so the they got the funds. They got the bro. funds behind it, boy. And boy. honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you. I want I want everyone to remember I said this because I guarantee you, NBA players are gonna start investing in this league. Why not? I guarantee Why not? You. I guarantee it's Why? a win. Why? It's a Why? win. I wouldn't, y'all. Ronnie probably, yo, yo, that investor group. And like I said, like Kobe. Oh my God, bro. Don't sleep. It's genius. It's genius. Remember we said it. It's absolutely genius, guys. It's absolutely genius.